Good day beautiful people wherever you are in the world it's a beautiful day and I'm just here don't don't be surprised when you hear the cars passing by I'm just nearby the main road nearby the tar road and it's a beautiful tree that I'm sitting under so I welcome you back to my channel if you are new to this channel subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more video for more content that will be coming up so uh, today I'm gonna be doing it's gonna be my first episode on big book reviews so I'm gonna be reviewing uh, the book that I wrote not a long ago life through my eyes greediness and abundance <laughs> it's a book that is published and you can go get your copy it's only 99 um, cents in dollars so it will be about 17 rand 90 in South African rents and it's a beautiful book and there's another book that is coming on the way so today I'm just going on going to be speaking about this beautiful book so we're gonna be diving in and this book doesn't have this one this version doesn't have a paperback so I'm reading it from my phone I'm reading it from my phone it's an ebook version so <laughs> you know me I'm just gonna dive into the review so page one it goes like this greetings beautiful people this memoir is not under any copyright I just want to let you know that all these memos are meant to help you in your journey to freedom they also they are also a way for me to heal to help myself in becoming one with my higher self with every experience I share with you straight from my heart any money I ask is merely for donation <laughs> in order for me to keep writing more beautiful real life experiences I go through every day and how God keep keep helping me may God bless you in your journey as you embark with me so in this beautiful memoir of my life experiences page one good day beautiful people wherever you are in the world it's cold out there and I am indoors writing to you this memo to let you in my experience of how confusing greediness and abundance made me suffer and struggle in life when the divine never desired desired for us to suffer but live a joyful life in this physical world and truth be told I've told I've been telling myself so many times that you know I have to work to get this and I've been suffering because of this and because I never knew the difference between greediness and abundance so as I write in this book in this book I was just pouring out my feelings about my struggle how how this um, confusion of greediness and abundance made me suffer I know that many people think that spiritual people live in the clouds <laughs> and I, I, I'm, I'm also I deserve also to be charged in this case because I also used to think that spiritual people don't have problems that everything comes to them but actually that is how it's supposed to be everything is supposed to come to them flow into them from different directions and I used to think that everything was supposed to be like that but the truth is everything is not like that we also have our own challenges and the only difference is that challenges come while we are in joy but we still have challenges every single day we still have resistance to things every single day so going on I know that many people think that spiritual people live in the clouds than in real life but the truth is we all experience the same emotions which are energy in motion to be more clearer I and myself sometimes get lost in emotion that I sometimes don't understand. So basically, what I was trying to, pro to portray to everybody here is that spiritual people, like even me, myself, even you can even mention Eckhart, Sadhguru, or even the Lord Jesus Christ, they all, they all went through these emotions that we are going through. Emotions of anger, emotions of fear, emotions of pain, all these emotions, all these sufferings, they all went through all these emotions. And I also am going through these emotions because right now I'm going through this intense pain in my stomach. There's some sort of uh, um, misbalance in my second chakra. It's, it's, it's all that we are going through. So it's not that we don't go through things like that. It's that when we go through things like that we are able to realize the peace that is underlying that is deep within us we are able to be joyful in the challenges of this so that will be all for today 
and just know that spiritual beings go through emotions intense ones because i've had spiritual awakenings not long ago and as i was writing this book i had so many challenges that's why i spoke about greediness and abundance because i was going through challenges of money going through challenges of food going through challenges of clothes i didn't have clothes to wear and also going through challenges of my own um of, of my community my society because people look at me the other way and i had challenges of making videos in public places like this ones and the divine helped me in this journey and it's been beautiful so far it's been amazing so far <laughs> i'm able to be more joyful i'm able to be more peaceful and more loving in this beautiful journey of mine and with that being said till we meet again in the next book review have a beautiful day wherever you are till we meet again next wednesday as we're gonna continue reading this book of mine have a beautiful day and i say from me it's a beautiful 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 day once again peace be with you